Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbow. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. The veteran voice Ladies of the octagon, Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC walkerweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Uanoyama! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Fans a big right hand early. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, straight right. Good defense to block the strike coming back. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one? Liver kick. Liver kick is gonna shut your body off. That Big knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice body kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. He's truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Big leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Straight right is there. Back and forth we go! That punch no good. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight. Tim. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big body kick land. Goes back to that left kick once again. Good one. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right punch is there. And they settle. Way to hide that leg kick. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, timely hook. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Oh, big left hand there. Just missed with the straight left hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. 20 seconds left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Final seconds here. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Round two is next. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's right. been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. And that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. 
Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good spin. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Nice head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Put your hands up higher. Leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. What a body kick. Nice combination. Nice leg kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Got the single collar tie. He gets to the spot. Whoa, whoa, over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Great punch landed with so much power. Head kick lands. Checks that leg kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side. Oh! Oh, oh he feints upstairs and lands crushed to the ground. That's the reaction to hold the kick. That's how they had to cope it in this fight. They can stop very soon. Oh, nice jab. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but that takes time. You cannot allow to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Kick to the body by Lee. You better get that elbow down or he's going to keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Ten seconds remain in round two. Still nice body kick now. Right. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landing the seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
Third round underway. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Big leg kick lands. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Superman punch now. Him there, beautiful shot to the body. That's a big strike right there. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. <laughs> Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there, beautifully done by Lee. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Single collar tie here. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at him driving shit into the whole body with that body kick. Working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Beautiful body kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, right under the elbow, right under the perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting. Violently from that punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much off. Oh! Oh! oh. Shot to the body. That's all the Let's go to the gym. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Out of range with that one. <laughs> Just digs into the box. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Big kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big shot land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Leg kick throws. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, 
Signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right up the elbow. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh man, look what that one body shot did. That shows the power, and the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, big knee! not due to a lack of effort, he continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this, it only exhausts you. Because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, when you're just catching air, it, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, straight right. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy. Oh! Back and forth we go. Big body kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. There it is, there it is. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Connects with the right. Two minutes remain in the round. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That was a He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Huge block there. by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Liver kick. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. Right hand punch. 
And they set it. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Now connects with the right. Missed with that attempt. Fifteen seconds. Nice. Back and forth we go. So there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. It's a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Here we go, fifth and final round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Oh, oh man. A shot to the body is a point of Trying to get the but he's hurt very, very bad. Just misses with the right. Oh! Oh, he got the strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight right is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh, big left hook there. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton Boxing yeah. District. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just in survival mode. Nice. Punches blocked. And they separate. Nice body. Just misses there with the left. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice loose punch. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He says, unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh! Oh! Shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Right back to his feet. Real sneaky body kick. Unbelievable. All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC. 
Messi in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just give it to Jiu-Jitsu escape. Push. Hip lights up, back to your feet. Now we're back to fight. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hand. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by... Bruce the Dragon! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round. A full-on split of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. He'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, let's read back the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hitting behind the punch that finished the fight for him. 